Hey Fight fans, today in this video, former UFC champions Justin Gaethje, Kamaru Usman, and Henry Cejudo visited the homeland of Hamzat Shemaev in the Chechen Republic as they were guests of honor at the birthday party of the son of the Chechen president, Ramzan Kadyrov. And Conor McGregor also spawned another series of offensive comments. Shocker, I know. McGregor called Habib Nurmagomedov the biggest coward in UFC history, and the friend and manager of Habib Ali Abdelaziz then responded to Conor. Also later in the video, John Jones hints that he will be returning in the spring on March 5th at UFC 285 in Las Vegas. And if Francis Ngannou makes a full recovery from his knee surgery, which was done exactly one year ago, he could be the one to welcome John Jones to the heavyweight division, giving him a shot at the title. But the chances for that are extremely small, so why do we think so? We're going to discuss that. But before we start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance. Now, let's go. As we already mentioned, former UFC champions Justin Gaethje, Kamaru Usman, and Henry Cejudo visited the Chechen Republic, becoming guests of honor at the birthday party of Ramzan Kadyrov's son. In the capital of Chechnya, the athletes arrived on a private plane, as Triple C reported on social media. Just because you're flying in a private jet doesn't mean it's yours, Hudo wrote posting a corresponding video. And Justin Gaethje not only congratulated the birthday boy, but also taught him his famous signature trick, a backflip, which Gaethje demonstrates after each win. And another guest of the Katarovs was the famous Russian blogger Hezbollah Magomedov. I caught someone today, Hezbollah commented on a joint photo with Kamara Usman. And Usman, on the birthday of the younger Katarov, may have crossed paths with Hamzat Shimaev. Of course he was there. So maybe they tried to lock in their fight. It would be great if they agreed to fight as soon as possible, because this fight would be watched by millions of fans. So what do you think? Would you like to see that fight? Go ahead and leave your comments down below. And while you're in the comments, we're going to move on. And Conor McGregor, without even stepping into the octagon, somehow remains in the spotlight. He's been making some new enemies as he constantly enters into high-profile conflicts and continues to provoke Habib Nurmagomedov. McGregor posted on social media a photo with the fight from four years ago stating, The Lion King chills unscathed. They'll do nothing. Wait and I get up, I'm gonna batter the whole family. On top of the cage, the lot. That's a fucking lion chilling right there. And a rat gnawing. He then since deleted that post. He also went on to write, You are an absolute coward. At a meeting, daddy will give you a slap in the face. You are still not free. Freedom is when you stay in the mountains of Dagestan with your family. But instead, you live in hotel rooms. Your children and wife are alone at home. Wake up. I really have no desire to fight this stinky sack. There are much better fights. But let it be known to everyone that he is the biggest coward in history. Imagine how significant this fight could be. And accept that you are an absolute spectacled man. Daddy will slap you 100%. This fight become like bigger than bigger than our sport, bigger than MMA, bigger than Yes, UFC. but this is also a very defining moment. But you said it today on the red carpet. Like all the time talking about this, I don't like to be honest, but this is like one of the best moment ever happened in my professional career, you know? 2018, October 6th. When I love how you put when this I finished this How do you know idea, all these dates? I remember, oh, you remember this. remember every day. I remember everything, almost. And you know, it's like you know, like people people never talk about one things. People never talk about when I jump. With me, jump all this sport, you know, to ne another level. McGregor also revealed that he was going to return to the testing pool of the American Anti-Doping Agency in February. I am free to test in February. I will pass two USADA checks, and we will book the fight. Manager and friend of Habib Nurmagomedov, Ali Abdelaziz, did not stand aside and responded to Connor saying, Your ex-boyfriend is suing you because you stole his idea. He was the reason you got beat up. It's called karma. You deserve each other. According to the boyfriend, Abdelaziz was talking about Artem Lobov, who was always next to McGregor and was considered his right-hand man. And now they have become enemies. Artem said that it was he who came up with the idea of the Irish whiskey brand Proper Number no. 12, and that McGregor only appropriated it for himself and continues to profit at the expense of Loba. Lobov demanded from his best friend only a 5% stake in the sale that he did for $600 million, but apparently Notorious is in no hurry to share the profit, so we'll just have to wait and see how this all ends. Moving on. John Jones has long been fighting on the internet, not in the octagon. He promised to return to fighting, moving up to heavyweight and taking the belt, but everything, well, is only on the internet. But last time he said he would be back in December was against Stipe Miocic. 
It is clear that in December, he will not return and there will not be a fight. There is information that it was Stipe, though, who failed the negotiation. John Jones now hints that he will return in the spring, namely on March 5th, at UFC 285 in Las Vegas. Who he will be fighting remains unknown. If Francis Ngannou fully recovers from his knee surgery, which was a year ago, he could welcome John Jones to the heavyweight division. But we don't think that is going to happen, and Gano is just simply too big for Jones and will literally take him down with one punch. But that's the fight we wanted to see, but I don't think that's the fight that's going to happen. John knows this as well, and so he just speculates with rumors. This fight is definitely not going to be worth the watch. The UFC is considering a more realistic option in a fight with Curtis Blade. He is on a winning streak of three fights in a row, but he can't fight the top. Curtis has a powerful punch and can easily knock out John Jones who also has a lot of cage rust, as he hasn't fought in a very long time. Now, all of this can happen, but our opinion is that John Jones will not return anywhere, and he will probably just never fight again. So what do you think about that? Let us know down in the comments below.